the seventieth jubilee, the seven years of the end of days, and the third temple. A Biblical Hypothesis Hypothesis The year of September 13, 2015 till October 2, 2016, being the seventieth Biblical Jubilee, could prove the first year of the seven years of the Biblical end of days, when the first apocalyptic events start to occur, announcing the soon construction of the Third Temple at Jerusalem. Background Since ancient Israel failed to implement the sabbatical year during seventy cycles of seven years, Yahweh expulsed Israel from its land for seventy years, leaving the land fallow. Similarly, Israel, having failed to implement its seventy jubilee years, seems ready to suffer a severe judgment. He took into exile in Babylon those who had escaped from the sword, to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed its Sabbaths. All the days that it lay desolated kept Sabbath, to fulfill seventy years. According to the biblical calendar, every seventh year is a sabbatical, during which they neither sow, nor harvest. God had promised that the sixth year would produce enough to feed everyone for two years. After every seventh cycle of seven years, the fiftieth year was a jubilee, which is also a sabbatical, during which they neither sow nor harvest. God had promised that the forty-eighth year, called the sixth, would produce enough to feed everyone for three years. According to this hypothesis, the seventieth jubilee of the biblical calendar, started with the Feast of Trumpets, the first of Nisan, 5776, which was the evening of September 13, 2015. The Bible asserts that it is the fiftieth year, before which the land would produce enough food for three years. However, some students of the Hebrew calendar suppose that the Jubilee coincided with the 49th year of the 49-year cycle, doubting that there would be enough food. Consequently, the recent Jubilee would have ended on the 30th of Elul, which was September 12, 2015. Thus, According to this hypothesis, the year of Jubilee coincides with the first year of the new seven-year cycle. Now, since the year 2015 to 2016 happens to be the 70th Jubilee, one could suppose that this new seven-year cycle may prove to be the seven years of the end of days, predicted in the Holy Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible. He shall make a strong covenant with many for one week, and for half of the week he shall put an end to sacrifice and offering. Now, each of the most recent jubilee years has preceded an event that relates to prophetic predictions about the end of days. 1867. France, Italy, Belgium and Netherlands renew their treaties with Switzerland, on condition that they grant to their Jews full rights of citizenship. The first Jewish theological seminary in America opens its doors on 28 October. 1917. The Balfour Declaration. Our letter dated 2 November, signed by Arthur Balfour, the British Foreign Secretary, addressed to Lord Lionel Walter Rothschild, a leader of the British Jewish community, and a financier of the Zionist movement, reads. Dear Lord Rothschild. I have much pleasure in conveying to you, on behalf of His Majesty's Government, the following declaration of sympathy with Jewish Zionist aspirations, which has been submitted to, and approved by, the Cabinet. His Majesty's Government view with favor the establishment, in Palestine, of a national home for the Jewish people, 
and will use their best endeavors to facilitate the achievement of this object, it being clearly understood that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious rights of existing, non-Jewish communities in Palestine, or the rights and political status enjoyed by Jews in any other country. I should be grateful, if you would bring this declaration to the knowledge of the Zionist Federation. 1967. During the Six-Day War of the 5th through 10th of June, the State of Israel seized the Gaza Strip, the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt, the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, from Jordan, and the Golan Heights from Syria. Thus, for the first time in centuries, Israeli Jews have access to the edges of the Temple Mount. 2017. Therefore, it seems reasonable to expect that Israel could soon construct its third temple at its ancient temple site on the Temple Mount, because 1. This is the 70th Jubilee. 2. This may be the seven-year week of the end of days. 3. Jewish, Christian and Muslim theologians teach that the Messiah must enter into this temple upon his soon coming if not his return. 4. Jews are currently pressing for their right to pray on the Temple Mount. 5. The Third Intifada is centered upon a dispute over control of mosques, which could prove impossible to resolve, without an international agreement that extends even farther. 6. The year 2017 will mark the 70th anniversary of the arrival, at the port of Alat, of the first immigrants to Israel, as well as the rejection, by both Arabs and Jews, of the British plan to partition Palestine, voted by the United Nations. 7. The Temple must also be a reality at the appearing of the two witnesses awaited in the end of days preceding the coming of the Messiah. I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1260 days, clothed in sackcloth.